Well, when winter stays as long and cold as it has this year, finding reasons to celebrate requires creativity. Thousands of people celebrated an ugly fish in Walker this past weekend. Shane Lee highlights the Eel Pout Festival in this week's Northwoods Adventure. There's nothing quite like making a splashy entrance to a party. The Polar Pout Plunge helped visitors jump right into the wonder that is the Eel Pout Festival. Something about the whole group here, everybody getting involved. It's an amazing festival. It's something you got to try. The Pout Plunge gathered participants from across the Midwest and even as far away as California and Florida. Tepley and the Sea Monkeys only made a 600 mile trip from Chicago. We love you all in a weird, twisted, demented, monkey suit sort of way. A lot of us have done a lot of great physical activities in our life. This tops them all, probably. <laughs> 30 teams totaled 115 plungers who raised about $25,000 for the Walker Area Community Three, Center. Donating two, the money felt a lot better than the icy cold water. I actually felt my head go underwater. It was okay, it was exhilarating. Getting out was scary. Get set, go! People who wanted to stay dry could throw an eel pout in the water instead at the eel pout derby. The fish actually make pretty bad racers. Oh no! These ones have been racing here for over an hour, so they started to tire out a little bit. <laughs> they ran a lot of races, so and they're getting cold. They've been sitting out here, and the ice is the water starting to freeze up. Come on, baby! The eel pout derby is not for the casual race fan. Every run places everything on the line. The loser has to kiss the fish. <laughs> I didn't race the pout and I don't have to hold the thing, but to get into the spirit, I will be kissing a pout, so here we go. Oh yeah, that is slimy and cold. <laughs> not enjoyable, but not the worst thing I've ever tasted. For people who wanted to avoid the risk of kissing a fish, eel pout curling provided a popular option. Curling proved much more challenging than it looks on television. <laughs> yes, it was pretty difficult. I did fall down quite a few times. Eel pout curling involved actual fish frozen into large blocks of ice. Brooms were not included, but throwing the fish provided enough difficulty. The way I did it was I just based it uh, on my release point and then just pushed it as hard as I could from there. Whether people plunged, raced, or curled, they will never experience anything quite like the Eel Pout Festival. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.